Hey! <laughs> that was a bit aggressive. My name is John Nelson Leith and I'm here in my home and uh, I want to, I, I, do, I do a lot of stuff about history um, on my blog and I don't really think that I've done a lot about history on video so I wanted to do some uh, something that's kind of fun but also historical and uh, I mean you can see I'm, re I'm really into history a lot. I mean look at behind me you see these books these are a lot of history books and below that are some board games most of which are based on history some way or another so the thing I wanted to talk about today is the tricorn hat which some of you might not know you know you might know it as the pirate hat but you know not only pirates wore it you see it on civilians when you're watching films about pirates you'll see them wear it too uh, if you've ever watched the the series the BBC series Poldark like the iconic photo that they use is him wearing a tricorn hat well in the period, uh, they did not call those tricorns. What they called them is cocked hats. So that's a, uh, interesting. Um, take that as you will. And the thing is that they weren't always cocked on three sides. They sometimes would just cock up one side and put a little uh, little thing on there that they called a cockade. Um, but today, I just wanted to talk about the four tricorn hats that I have and what... Um, the different stories behind them and you're like why do you have four tricorn hats that's a little ridiculous but um, to hell with you I like tricorn hats I have a lot of hats and tricorns are four of them so the first one that I ever bought was one of these generic sort of Captain Jack hats that I bought basically for Halloween and I just wanted something that would look like a there would be a recognizable pirate hat to go with my pirate costume I wasn't dressing up as as, as Jack Sparrow um, but a lot of people mistook that. They, I guess, thought that I had a very bad Jack Sparrow co costume because the rest of the stuff didn't look like Jack Sparrow. There are pictures out there. Um, I probably should have put one in my podcast, but I didn't. As a matter of fact, if you're watching this on YouTube, my profile picture on YouTube is me in that costume. And as you can see, I have that hat on, but I do not look like I'm dressed up to be Jack Sparrow. Now, the next two hats... Uh, are hats that have a, a, a the similar story is that I would go to the beach one was at Ocean City and one was at Cape Hatteras and I didn't have a hat but I wanted a hat but I wanted a distinctive hat and I wanted a pirate hat so what I did was I just bought standard straw beach hats and a few uh, little accoutrements and put together this is the one that I made when I was at Hatteras you can see basically it's just a regular straw hat you can get at any tourist shop at a beach and then I bought three little piratey pins and just cocked it up so that voila you're not you're not just wearing a beach hat anymore you're wearing a pirate hat I loved it it was fun and, and people seemed to like it people would stop me as I was walking along and they'd say I like my hat but uh, the first time I did that was at Ocean City and I I not only I mean I, I went through a lot of trouble I got these sort of wristbands and tied the hat off and I got a headband as you can see and, and put it there's actually a skull on this hat and uh, it's one of my favorite hats it fits a little tighter than the other one but as you can see you know regular stuff you can get at any beach tourist store and the next thing you know you're wearing a cool pirate hat a cool cocked hat from uh, from the 16 and 1700s now this one and I'm gonna put uh, when I before I post this on YouTube I think I'm going to try to find the uh, the website for the lady who made this for me. Her name is Lauren Bono, and she I commissioned this particular hat, and it's leather, and it's a very well made. Uh, it's not a traditional setup for a for a cocked hat because it's in multiple pieces that she's sewn together. But she did a really good job. I really like this hat a lot, and uh, I plan to wear this the next time that I see. I mean that that hat looks fantastic. It's just an awesome hat. I mean, holy moly. I, I want to wear this all day now, but uh, but I'm not going to. Uh, actually, I'm going to wear it to the end of this video, though. So um, hopefully, I will have put her website address. I think she uh, her business is called Cogs and Cords. I don't know if she still makes leather goods, uh, but she uh, she she's fantastic at it. If she doesn't, she maybe she should. Um, but uh, there you go. There are my four cocked hats or tricorns, as you might know them. And uh, thank you for your time. My name is John Nelson Leith, and you can see my website here. Check it out or uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more of my goofy-ass thoughts.